24 hours leading up to this one. We are underway at Barkley Center. Duke controls the tip. I think we're right now. Madison goes a little. Wait a minute. Duke has won eight straight first round games, so they got out of the first round with that victory over Vermont out of the America East. McCain knocks down a triple. I love this. That's what they have to do. Put him on the box, double, attract it, and find somebody. Comes in shooting it at 40% from long range, had 15 points in the win over Vermont. And right away, Raph, they have Mark Mitchell guarding Terrence Edwards Jr. The Duke's best player and playmaker out there at the small forward position. And now they That's double it. with Filipowski. Nobody home initially. The flip goes down for Bickerstaff. James Madison did not trail against Wisconsin. They went wire to wire two nights ago. 3-2 lead for Duke. Got to do a better job in the back line of the defense there. Helping out on the roll guy. They get Roach involved. Brown locks in defensively. Now this team believes, and they are aggressive on both ends of the floor. The back is McCain is fouled. He was trying to pass it to the perimeter and Filipowski. Two? They're going to give two. On that last play, right up Terrence, with you. Terrence Edwards Jr., he's at 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, so he can see over those double teams and made an incredible pass inside there to Bickerstaff while double team. They are going to change it. Officials came together, oh, recognized good. it was not a shooting foul. Mark Byington was looking around quizzically and... Year number four as the head coach, and what a tremendous job he's done with this program. They're trying to go to the Sweet 16 for the first time. The fadeaway is smooth. Jeremy Roach nails it. And that's all that baseline out of bounds. Mitchell with a roadblock set it up. And you see right away, Duke is attacking. They're not settling, getting inside and forcing the action. James Madison in the second round of the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1983. 41 years. Nice Cutter. Cut. Friedel lost it. Filipowski gets it ahead. This is where they're tough, I think. McCain floor. feed it for Proctor. James Madison is so good at guarding the three-point line. Trying to get physical with Filipowski, and they're going to get Edwards for another foul. Yeah. At the 18-12 mark of this first half, that's two. And we saw that in the first game against Wisconsin, Mark Byington stayed in the game with Edwards, but this is too early as he's battling down low, trying to front and get around Filipowski. Looked like maybe his right arm was around the waist of Filipowski, and because it's early, Edwards will have to sit. But I imagine he'll be back in this half. Hop step of Kane. He tried to bank it. He was in between there, not sure what he wanted to do. The Sun Belt Conference Player of the Year is now on the bench with two minutes gone by in this first half. And a whistle stops play as Brown makes his move. And a foul is called. It's McCain. McCain. Yeah, McCain. And that's, nope. and that's tough. Terrence Edwards Jr. is so important to this team. Brings a confidence, a moxie. But he had done his job. He got him three or four feet off the box. He should have just retreated and got defensive. But he is one of those guys over-anxious, over-zealous, thoroughly meshed in the game. 5-2 lead for Duke. Brown using a high screen. Bickerstaff continues on the drive. Bounce it. Raquan Horton in the game. Played very well the other night. The jumper is short from Wooden. Rebound. Bickerstaff. Nice cut, but we have Brown wide open. Hands, yeah. They have not been nearly as crisp as we saw them early in the game against Wisconsin the other night. Roach. The lane is open. The drive. It comes up short. Filipowski is there. Filipowski slams it. About the work by Filipowski. Speed to the 10. I mean, really followed the play, did not give up on it. 7-2 lead for the Blue Devils, and Duke has come out assertive against this Duke squad. Here's Brown, off the penetration, lost it. Good hands there, and retrieves it. Nine to shoot, he will fire, it's way off. And your point Settle. right now, James Madison, a little disjointed right now offensively. Well, their leader's out, that Edwards... So essential. High screen. Proctor uses it. Swing. Pick and pop. Filipowski. Short. Long rebound to Roach. Reload. The jumper doesn't go for Proctor. And it's rebounded by Brown underneath. And right now, James Madison, they have to settle down, run their sets. You have Jared McCain guarding Wooden right now, not taking advantage of that mismatch. Bickerstaff steps through. He's fouled by Filipowski and Bickerstaff. Pushes himself off the floor and heads to the free throw line. They, they have mobile 
perimeter guys there. The ability of Bickerstaff to move around. Loves his dribble handoff. He's going to drag Filipowski, and then he trapped him beautifully. John Shire said he was really proud of the effort in the first-round game in this tournament. You have to just quickly turn the page. Get the guys familiar with JMU. Said the team was fired up and ready for this matchup. I'll tell you, they've come out right out the gate with a lot of force. They and talked about it all day yesterday at their shoot around. They saw how James Madison really punched Wisconsin in the mouth right from the start of the game. And, and Duke has really been the one that's been the force and come out with a great deal of effort. Of course, Flip has to sit now with that one foul, but James uh -huh. Young, more of a screener, roller kind of a guy. Not going to beat you outside. Can post up a little bit. Has yeah. good footwork. Does He sure does. Ryan Young, the transfer from Northwestern. This is his sixth year of college. Red shirt as a freshman. He's going to have more degrees than the three of us. <laughs> he, he is Van Wilder. Feed it. Nice. McCain. And that one dances on the rim, comes off, knocked out of bounds. Last touch by James Madison. Mitchell right there, too. Com. Green has checked in. Valuable minutes the other night in the win over Wisconsin. A nice out of bounds, a little flex cut out of this for a good look. Oh, the pirouette and the splash for Tyrese Proctor. Two baseline out of bounds successfully. So Michael Green, the third who's played in the NEC, the Horizon, and the Sun Belt. A lot of experience. Ball fake, Wooden. Went for the big finish. Could not crank it down. A great help side defense there by Mark Mitchell on that block. Proctor off balance. And Mitchell denied at the rim. Battle for it. Mitchell had five quick dunks the other night. Jumper is good. McCain is on the money. And McCain was open on the early run. And a nice find by Mitchell. Patient. McCain is constantly smiling, trying to exude that positive energy right now for Duke. And if you uh, shot the ball like that, you <laughs> smile too. Yeah. Uh, we certainly could learn from it. Green, nice it. roll. Inside, look out! On the floor, this should be. Ryan Young is called. Don't get caught up in their name, just go play your game. That was a perfect response, Tracy, from Mark Byington when he was asked that question. And that will quell a lot of the pressure if your players are feeling it. Yeah, no offense here, Grant, but don't worry about Grant Hill. Don't worry about Christian Leitner. Don't worry about Bobby Hurley. Worry about this Duke squad. I wish well, you'd worry about one of us. Anyhow. <laughs> well, don't worry about me. I can't run anymore. <laughs> you have no By the way, how about the two shot free throws? I mean, that's certainly on the floor. Got nice away play. with it. Nice clear cut. Oh, Kane is feeling it. And Roach with the five. Nice little bump to get him free. Three of three from long range. Nine points for Jared McCain. Same play on this side. Friedel, a guy Almost two right there yeah. on flip. Friedel back in. Filipowski in the game. Oh! Erased! Filipowski, big block. The dude abides. He looks energized, doesn't he? They do. Nice help side. Try and keep it in play a little bit. Certainly would have helped as well. Hey, right, right now, Raftery, Duke is defending. Kind of how James Madison defended Friday night against Wisconsin. Giving them a taste of their own medicine in the first five and a half minutes. And right up uh, on this guard. Horton oh. goes in and he challenges Mitchell, gets the banker. The toughness about this kid. Tough against Michigan State. Wouldn't mind a moment either. 15-7, Duke. Filipowski loses the ball. Back Knocked court. away from Proctor. Nobody touched the backcourt. So the backcourt violation for Duke. And, then, and that's James Madison's defense right there, forcing turnovers. Watch live men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Download it now to stay up to date on all the action. And defensively now, Green on the floor. Kid who can shoot the three and get in the lane, too. And a change here for the Dukes, Jalen Carey. Nice young player, freshman from Davie, Florida, in. Nice oh. dump down, Friedel oh. couldn't finish it. Filipowski a factor. Oh, what a real good screen to get him free. Roach tried to cross, jumper, Proctor doesn't go. Flying in for the board is Horton. Tough kid. Transfer from College of Charleston. Played very well in the win over Wisconsin. Tish 
carry is hacked. A nice little clever dish there. Green gets in that lane, can do so many good things. A nice dive by Carey. And as you mentioned before, his ability uh, to get hurt here. Yeah, Roach just got hurt, and he knew it right away. He was reaching in here on that foul. It might have hurt his wrist, maybe a finger. Looks like the way he's holding his hand. Oh, might he's still on the sideline, too. Dislocated, maybe. Might have yeah. dislocated a finger. That's happened a few times. Ooh. He knew it right away. He feel like started. Doing, feel like I'm doing a game with Yogi Berra here. <laughs> oh, Roy Hills. Campanella for Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Our friend, the late Willis Reed, had a few of those oh, as yeah. well. Yeah. Amazing. And right now, Roach is in some serious pain. Now, this kid is really good, the low post. So Jalen Blakes has checked in. Sean Stewart seeing his first action for Duke. Jalen Carey, brother, older brother, played at Duke. He played did. for Duke a few years ago. But Vernon Carey now playing in Turkey, has had a career in Europe. Jalen's dad, Vernon Sr., played offensive line for the Miami Dolphins, eight seasons. They're smart kids. They didn't play football. <laughs> you think they had a choice? I think they did. Uh, Proctor with a nice pass, didn't set up for the shot. Filipowski, ball thing. He's fouled. So it's Carey reaching in. And he has that to his game. Because he's a big guy who can shoot the ball on the perimeter, you have to come out, keep him honest, but he can put the ball on the floor and get to the free throw line. So I like how aggressive Filipowski's been on both ends of the court. And going left, he is superior. He already has two field goal attempts. That's one more than the entire game the other night <laughs> in the win over Vermont. And Stewart on the floor. You feel they can switch a lot with him on the floor, right, Grant? Stewart can guard on the perimeter. Maybe one of their best perimeter defenders. It's the first ever meeting between these two programs. Duke and James Madison. 15-8. Blue Devils in front. The 4-12 matchup in the south. Feed it. Outside. Blake's not known for his outside shooting. Rebound. The hustle. Stewart, Stewart couldn't grab it initially, but Duke controls. Proctor. Got a three. The second, second effort with a kick out three. 18-8, Duke 10 second chance points for the Blue Devils. Baskin's got to be careful with carrying the low post area. And without Edwards, this team has been struggling. Horton, a tough move to the rim. He's fouled. The transfer from the College of Charleston will shoot a pair. And right there, great awareness, Filipowski. Offensive rebound, find the open shooter. And right now, those five offensive rebounds, as you said, 10 second chance points. And this team, th four for eight from the three-point line, as you see Jeremy Roach still struggling in pain. he you got to keep an eye on that because he is so important, so valuable. The one guy that has really meaningful experience in the postseason for Duke. And Terrence Edwards Jr. is going to check back in, known as Fat Edwards. They are taping two fingers together. That's athletic trainer Jose Fonseca. Let's check in with Tracy. That's exactly right, Ian. I'm sitting here watching, and Jeremy Roach was just in a lot of pain. It seems as though he's feeling a little better once they were able to work on that left pinky. It did seem like he dislocated it, and now they're taping it up, and we'll see if he's able to get back in there. All right, thank you, Tracy. Jeremy Roach, the senior captain each of the last two years for Duke. And this Blue Devils team is in front, 18-9. John Charles said they've simplified things. A little step back, please. Oh, some confidence. Proctor nails it from long range. So both Proctor and McCain are making their shots. This is the largest lead of the night for Duke. And this is surprising because James Madison, one of the best in the nation at guarding the three-point line, Raph. And they got to get it. Andrews on the floor. They got to use him. Carry good footwork, we mentioned. And the steal there for McCain. Loops it ahead. Nice get back. Is he feeling it? Yes. Oh, yeah. And they are reading one another beautifully. In transition. Much, and there is Jeremy Roach, the senior, is heading back to the locker room right now. So Duke is playing well without him, and they're shooting it well. Six threes. They had six the entire game against Vermont. Edwards is nice back pass. in. Give it up. Carry. He's met. And a late whistle. Stewart's wow. called for the foul on the collision. Stewart's the two not exactly thought of as the top of the heap this season around NCAA basketball. And here they are undefeated. But there was a lot of talk, like you said, about that. But ACC is representing, and certainly here today, Duke as well, with this fast start.
But we know they this James Madison team is very dangerous and more than capable defensively in getting back into this game. The two fouls have defused Edwards in, in a way. He's not been a factor in a couple of minutes he's been back. Well, he has to be careful. Can't be overly aggressive with those two. He picked up his second foul a minute 48 into the game. That was an empty trip for JMU. Proctor, wild scoop shot, doesn't go. And it's controlled by the Dukes. That's where he's got to be smart. Don't charge. Ooh. Edwards, crafty. He must have heard you, Brad. Yeah, I mean. He is amazing, this kid. He believes. Fat Edwards fills up the box score. Had 14 points, five rebounds, two steals. And the 11-point win over Wisconsin. 24-11, Duke. 18 field goal attempts. Compare that to eight for James Madison. This is a good defensive team as well. They were aggressive, tenacious. McCain. Roach is back in, and he misses on the jump shot. Rebounded by Xavier Brown. Two little guys can both get in the lane. Play a little drop coverage. A pass to Carey. Perfect setup from Michael Green, the third. Two together is a nice dimension for this team. I agree. Smart move there, too, by Carey to attack Filipowski, who has that one foul. We wondered in regards to Duke. Getting that first round win over Vermont, would it be just a sense of relief, or would it trigger something bigger for this team? Well, clearly it's triggered something here today. <laughs> Roach misses his second jump shot, but I look, Duke won March 4th against NC State, and then they hadn't won until they won Friday on the 22nd. It was 18 days without having a win, so you can see that they have come out with greater confidence and a sense of urgency here in this big game. I haven't had uh, 18 days without a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a streak. You're not Lou Gehrig. <laughs> Fake it. Edwards, the fade. That was flat. Rebounded by Mitchell. Fat was flat. It was. That should have been my call. Uh, one <laughs> just corrected it. And one of the keys, I think, for James Madison, make sure you transition D. Don't give that terrific jump shooting team opportunities. A cane swing for Filipowski. Don't go under on this kid. A cane drives in. A silky smooth scoop to the hoop. Faulty D. And Rav, Rav, he's a great shooter, but he has a toughness about him. Gets a lot of points at the rim, as you saw right there. 14 for McCain, 13 for James Madison. I think you got to go back to Carey. Get Carey involved in that low block with Flip. Will not try to defend him aggressively with the foul. I, I like the dribble drive. Don't settle on the perimeter. This guy never settles. Edwards, he draws Filipowski, shows it. Crosses. Edwards! Takes Doesn't go. He, oh, he got hurt too. He took a shot to the face. Takes tough shots, sometimes makes him. Got five on four. Gotta go. McCain pass. flipped it. Mitchell. Might have walked. And he got denied by the backboard. The bottom portion of it. Edwards weaving through, hangs and hits. This kid, not the best. Not afraid of the moment either. He is a gamer. Second field goal for Terrence Edwards Jr. He's got to be patient defensively too with those two fouls. They got to drive him, I think. McCain. Good nice pass. pass. To he rocks the rim. How nice was that set? A little pocket pass. McCain not only pretty from deep, effective at the rim. Four points for Filipowski. He had three in the win over Vermont. Communicating a lot better defensively, too. Carey is going to line it up. Ooh. And it's rebounded Harsh. by McCain. Carey came in shooting it at 32% from long range. James Madison has looked out of sorts offensively. They are 0 of 4 from downtown. Duke is 6 of 11. They carry only 6 made. McCain, hot hand! Well, you got to challenge him. Now he owns him, right? Got the ability to get to the rim. And Raph, he's had some big eight. games this season for Duke. He can get hot. Green all the way to the cup. He flips it up and in. Got to keep them out of the lane. I tell you, James Madison's had success in their screen and roll cover or screen and roll defense, offense. As the defense of Duke in that drop coverage, they are attacking and having success. McCain, 5 of 5 from downtown. And McCain Silly. is fouled. Not a good one, though, by Brown. Mark, Duke in control early. How do you get back to playing your game? 
Yeah, it's a lot on us right now. Early on, we had some bad turnovers. Uh, we're not boxing out, giving them a second chance points. We're not rotating very well on defense. Uh, they're playing well, but I think it's a lot of our mistakes. We just got to settle in. It's a long game. Jared McCain, 17 points. How do you adjust on him? Yeah, some of those are on offensive rebounds. I uh, got a couple in transition. One of them was probably a legal screen. He rolled us under, but um, <laughs> we can take care of some of those things. We can fix it. Thank you. All right, Tracy, this James Madison squad has won 14 in a row, the longest active winning streak in the country. McCain has matched JMU by himself, and Duke has got a 31-17 to lead with six and a half to go in this first half. That's, That's what right. I love about Byington. He doesn't get too high or too low, but and you see right there, once again, Jared McCain getting into the paint. I thought from the weak side there, I thought Wooden did a pretty good job Thought he had a clean block. It's going to be Wooden picking up the personal. Came over as Jared. Maybe, oh, yes, he pushed yeah, him. With his, yep. Yeah, got his body there. Uh, two of the largest Appalachian State that James Madison had. They throw a little rebounding, shot blocking ability of Appalachian State. And as mentioned, offensive rebound, kick out, step in threes here. Yeah. Boy, you salivate over those. But right now, it's been McCain. He has been the guy for Duke. We mentioned Scott. 2.4 million TikTok followers. Ooh. Raph also Only has a very active account called House of Onions on TikTok. You may want to check that very out. Very popular. <laughs> you have four followers. Raph, you paint your nails. The kids. <laughs> Lob it up. Bickerstaff throws it up there and doesn't go. Competing on the glass, though. Well, that was a nice set play out of the timeout by Mark and his guys. Didn't finish. Those shots were going down the other night. Can't keep them out of the lane. Kick it out. Proctor short. Rebound. Young. It's Young. He coughs it up, hitting the deck mm -hmm. out of bounds. Well, if Young had it, he had a kick out wide open threes. Now there is Jason Jared McCain, his brother Jared, and Jace so close. We got more from Tracy. Trace. That's right. Every time Jared McCain steps out on the court, he is playing for his older brother, Jace. Jace had dreams of playing high-level college ball and getting to an NCAA tournament, but health issues hindered those aspirations. And that's when Jace decided he was going to dedicate his life to helping his brother, Jared, chase his dream. He is one of the managers on this Duke team, and so they get a chance to do this together. Jared told me everything he does is for the both of them, and his dream of playing in March is now their dream, and he knows how lucky he is to have Jace by his side. Well, right now that dream is a very positive one. The way that Duke has performed here against James Madison, it's 35-17. to 17. Free throws for Noah Friedel. McCain now has 19 points. The rest of the team has 16, and the Dukes have 17. And Bird threw baseline out of bounds. They've gotten baskets on. So faulty defense, but terrific sets by Duke. And Proctor got that foul, by the way, I believe. Yeah. Friedel misses at the free throw line. So, uh, again, things that were happening with regularity against Wisconsin are not happening right now for James Madison. They are 5 of 11 at the free throw line. Uh, without Edwards on the floor, they are a different team. Flip it. Confidence and cockiness. Roach had the injured finger to his offhand, his left hand. He's using it here on the drive and kick. Proctor lets it fly. Off the rim. Nice no. rebound, Young. Young. Gets in, layup, no, but a foul. All he had to do was turn, and he had a three. Guys, begging for it the outside if you don't finish. CBS Tonight, catch a new episode of the most watched show in the country starring Justin Hartley, Tracker, at a special time. It's new tonight after 60 minutes. All new, all spring on CBS and streaming on Paramount+. Plus. And, Raph, to your point, I've been surprised, one, the three-point shooting. I talked earlier, James Madison, their ability to defend the three-point line. Duke's had so many wide open, a lot off of second-chance opportunities, but then also the seven offensive rebounds as well. So right now, the defense of James Madison, not up to par. James Madison came in number six in the country, defending the three, limiting opponents to 29% on the season. You've got to definitely check out those kickouts. You're so vulnerable. 
Duke is 7 of 14 from long range. Young misses on the second attempt. The lead is now 36-17. Duke. Automatic switching on the outside. Nice help by Young. Friedel drives. Nice look, and he's fouled hard. Young got Bickerstaff across the arm. He'll shoot a pair. And I like that in Friedel. Friedel, a great spot-up shooter, but also can put the ball on the glass and make a play right there for his teammates. And Young not giving up anything easy defensively. And you know, right now with 4.49 left in this first half, they got to make a little bit of a run here, try to get a little bit closer as they go into half, and really execute maybe a little better on the offensive end, and maybe guard Jared McCain. Yeah, that would help. <laughs> Sunbelt Newcomer of the Year, T.J. Bickerstaff. Duke is familiar with him because he spent two years with Boston College in the ACC prior to that at Drexel. It's a basketball family. His uncle JB, head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, his grandfather, longtime NBA coach, Bernie Bickerstaff, his mom on hand, his dad, part of the James Madison rooting section. Bickerstaff family showed up here trying to get this Duke's program to the Sweet 16 for the first time. Oh, the pass oh, lands in and gets it to go. And Roach with a nice feed, but power at the rim. Spacing him nicely, though, with that early one foul. Give him a little rest. Put Young in. A different look on both ends. Six points, four rebounds, and a big old block for Kyle Filipowski. Oh, no nice man's step. land. Friedel got caught underneath. And great help side That's defense great. there. Jalen Banks. Yeah. Blake's getting that steal. Very alert. Hand it to Roach. We're going to hit the four-minute mark of this first half. Filipowski. Again, power. Oh, hop step, and he's doing whatever he wants. And Roach, the guy, feed them too. Wisconsin. That's what we've seen from Duke here today. Hey, yeah. And Everett's is back on the floor now. They got to get him going. He is the guy that stirs it. Tough shot. Long one. Brown comes up short. Rebounded by Horton. He's going to go. The zigzag. Edward shows it. Flips it up. He was looking for a foul. He'll get one on Filipowski. That was another late call. I think it's on Blake's right there. He might have yeah. rooted out Bickerstaff on that rebound attempt. A great defense by Filipowski contesting without fouling on Edwards and Blake's down there fighting. But they, I think, no, they it's Filipowski. A, they oh, give him two shots. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah. So second foul on Filipowski, two shots here for Edwards. It was late, very late on that That's call. Two late calls. 82% at the free throw line this season. Now you got to know when he's got the ball, he's thinking of one thing being creative. They went 21 of 30 at the line in that win over Wisconsin. They are just 7 of 14 so far in this first half. Last time they played an ACC team, it was December 6, 2022. Virginia, they lost 55 to 50. That score surprised you? No. <laughs> that was right on <laughs> so. where I thought it was going to be. And Yo-Yo and Edwards for that reason with those two fouls. Save them for the other end. So 1-2-2, two, 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 pardon me, Bert. Take a seat. And I like this right now for James Madison. Slow down the rhythm, be a little bit disruptive. Or open. Oh, oh, Mitchell with a big finish. It's okay if you press, but you got to get back. Identify, play your guys. Great execution. How about the bang? But a big fella, Mitchell. Julian Wooden made some threes the other night against Wisconsin. He hasn't been a factor here offensively. Friedel trying to get involved. He does as he buries a three. And right there, Roach going under the screen on that dribble handoff. You cannot give Friedel any room whatsoever that can get him going. A native of T, South Dakota. Going in, met. And Blakes is fouled underneath. Two free throws for Jalen Blakes. Just see, just great execution right here. Mitchell in the right spot, well prepared. Rehearsed, big time, send it in. That's his game, attack mode. I think they're a different team when he's in that mental frame of mind. I agree, and historically, first of all, Duke, when you trap them, they don't try to beat the press to set up. They beat the press to score. And you saw it on that play, and you saw it even on this last play as Blake's attack and was able to draw that foul. And that's the third foul on Julian Wooden. So Edwards will rotate back in. Just under three minutes to play in this first half. Duke is up by 20, and now up by 21. The Somerset, New Jersey native Jalen Blakes makes a pair, and now he'll sit. I wonder if Byington is 
resting Edwards on defense. He is. He's yo -yo and bringing him in for the offensive purposes here. Because they're a different team on the offensive end when he's on the court. And his five out is tough. Fidel, a guy that looks for his shot, hunts it. Off balance three, doesn't go. James Madison gave up just 20 points in the first half against Wisconsin. Duke is currently at 44. Proctor and McCain have both been excellent. Young in there for Duke. Deep one, heat check. Oh, yeah! Another! Jared McCain is not human. And Young knows how to play. What a screen to set that open look. And again, defensively faulty, right? You can't go under the flare screen. You have to chase him over. He is 6 of 6 from downtown. 22 points for Jared McCain. Bickerstaff off balance. Everything is contested. Young giving a really solid minute. Play called out from John Shire. You want to bottle this if you're Duke, what they've done in this first half. 11 assists, just one turnover, under two minutes to go. The mental approach has been fantastic in a preparation. Different team, right, Grant? You've been watching them? No question. Nice Young, slip, roll, kick, roll, nice extra. extra. Off the rim. And the rebound controlled by Friedel averages 5.3 per game. A five out look. Down to a minute 20 to play in this first half. Edwards feeding the post. Bickerstaff. He got caught on the baseline. The ball ricochets over to Young and another turnover. And Young had his hand on that pass as well. He has been solid. Timeout called by Duke. They lead it 47 6 three pointers. Most made in an NCAA tournament game by a Duke freshman. That's pretty impressive considering all the Duke freshmen who've come through, particularly in recent years. Well, you didn't take any threes as a freshman. You weren't permitted, were you? Well, Coach K wouldn't let me. Let's look at the numbers. Let's see how many you took. Cross. Proctor leaves it, and he handed it right to Bickerstaff. Great Good opportunity. Friedel attacking the rim. And how about the Bickerstaff control bounce and a good look. And this is your center right there yeah. leading the break. He is a fluid kid. Got an eight and a half second difference. Shot clock to game clock. Forty-seven to twenty-five. And a stay at home on the shooters on the dribble drive. A little high ball straight. With Mitchell. Yep. There's the screen. McCain, tough shot. Off oh, the rim. Man. That one nearly went. Looking up the floor. Oh, goodness. A little air under it. Brian Randleman is a Durham, North Carolina native. Growing up, rooting for Duke. Transfer from a high point. Just tossed it too far. Out of bounds. And that was Friedel had a great contest. McCain fell. And he was head open. Just another missed opportunity. They have a young screen here. Ball is tipped. Out of bounds. 1.7 on the clock. Duke will retain it. But the impact you can have just doing little things like Young. He's had solid, a solid performance thus far. Well, he's experienced. Yeah. Experienced big who's been in big games and brings value when he plays. Second year at Duke. An efficient big man. And now Julian Wooden will check in playing with three fouls, replacing Bryant Randleman. 1.7 on the clock. Got some size on the inbound takeaway vision. Proctor looking to get it in. Sometimes they go opposite. McCain gets a shot off, and it is off the mark, and that's how the half will end. Nice challenge by Friedel. The Duke Blue Devils ended the night strong against Vermont, and we've seen the carryover into this first half against James Madison. So, Bill, it's you and me. Well, it's like the old days, huh? <laughs> what year is it? Yeah, let's dance together. It's oh, okay. I'm back now. Grant, some of the best television you've ever had. <laughs> well, I think the first three minutes are going to be important for James yeah. Madison, particularly on defense. I don't know if you said that already. Uh, no, we didn't, didn't hear you. But, but also for Duke when you think of it. Both ways. Which I agree. pedal is well, 40, not alluded to. Well, 47 points giving up in one half for James Madison is just not going to get it done. Filipowski, much more involved on the offensive end compared to the other night. Swing nice to him. And he tried the extra feed. It's a turnover. Brown trying to trigger the break. 
Edwards. Get this guy going. He breeds confidence with his team. The spin and deuce for Fat Edwards. Boy. Loves that offensive end. That was a tough shot. Should have gone to the, shot the ball on that last trip. Nice idea of being unselfish. 47-27, Duke. Roach. It's big against Small on the inside. They cannot locate Filipowski. Ball movement leads to the jumper, and it's good. Oh. It's McCain over and over again. Another bullseye. Well, Bird, they need to locate him. I mean, I know you're trying to help on that front, but McCain, too many open opportunities from three for Duke. And Filipowski is trying to guard and does a pretty good job. Edwards can't go back-to-back. -back. Rebound is cleaned up by Filipowski. And Bert, if they're going to front, they got to get a better angle of the pass to Filipowski. I think they're too worried about Filipowski. Play him straight up down there. Just don't lead the shooters. That's what's been getting you, been killing you this game. Nine three-pointers for Duke. And Horton being physical down there, too. See the angle? They're not getting a good. You bring it down. Then he can reverse and spin his guy. But to your point on this one. I mean, great awareness there. Swing, swing. Jared McCain, his shot is so compact. Quick release. You're trying to help on the weak side, fronting Filipowski, but that's the guy right there that's been really giving you trouble the whole game. McCain, McDonald's All-American from Sacramento, California, Centennial High School. He's got 25 points. Filipowski fades in and out. It's rebounded by Bickerstaff. So Horton getting the nod instead of Wooden on the bench with those three fouls to start this second half. Automatic switching on the perimeter now. Bigger staff back in using the size on Proctor. Prydell dives towards the rim Good and that hands. ball up for grabs. Take it away by Roach. That's the seventh turnover tonight for JMU. Roach looking to beat Brown off the dribble. Pretty oh, cut. Back door. Filipowski the bucket and the foul. It doesn't happen if Roche doesn't have that clever ability the dexterity with the bounce and then the terrific read here catchable big fella able to bang that baby home Over a thousand career points for Filipowski Just his second year at Duke Just under 17 per game. He's cracked double figures ten points five rebounds for the Westtown New York native. Now, the more you watch them, he's really not a back to the basket center, although he gets in there. Likes to face up, likes to dribble drive. Well, last year he played the power four position. Yeah. It was more of a stretch four playing alongside Derek Lively. Big difference, right? Big difference. Edwards matched up with Filipowski on the perimeter. He wants to go. Edwards oh. drives in, couldn't hit on the corkscrew. He does draw the foul. We send it to Tracy. Well, certainly not the start that Mark Byington wanted here. He felt as though in that first half they got out of rhythm really quickly. He said we were very out of character. He said the offensive rebounding, the second chance points, and we rushed our offense. He said the key going into this half is they just have to be themselves, show their pride, and they have to play as a team. You know, Bird, watching that foul by Filipowski, I think they've got to stay at home and not switch. And he's getting now he can't play Edwards. Well, he had a good possession before that, but you're right. I mean, and I think conversely, though, the switching has taken the rhythm out of the offense for James Madison. And because of that, you're going one on one and you didn't have Edwards out there most of that first half. So their offense just was not in sync with all the turnovers and missed opportunities there on that end. Byington's message to his team was, hey, we're trying to go one and oh, don't make it different than it's been all season just because of the opponent. But. Yeah, this is part of the deal in the NCAA tournament. The stakes get higher each round. The conversation around it. Roach getting to the rim. And Duke has truly looked like the team everyone thought they were going to be before the season. They were ranked two in the preseason poll nationally. Well, the design of the offense turnover here, you can't do that. Mitchell Strong takes it in. And it's blocked by Tridell. He met him at the apex. That would have been a nice slip pass, too. I know you want a little glory, a little motion, and hop in your step. But here, just a little give up. He got the basket. I'll tell you what, that's the kind of defense right there. Is Jumper goes. Wow. And it's all clicking right now. Tyrese Proctor with a corner J. They have been so effective in their sets. The earlier one, the five out.
got an easy basket with Roach. This is just a hit and follow and delinquent in the coverage. And that's, I believe, the fourth time on a baseline out of bounds have been able to score. And what's interesting, too, is a team can collectively gain confidence. And you see it. Like, they start hitting shots and start feeling good from the very beginning of this game. And the struggles that this team and the inconsistency at times throughout the season, we've been, as the Duke faithful, been waiting for this team to hit this, you know, hit this rhythm. And they've, they've hit it right now at the right time. Some Duke are more faithful than others. <laughs> Edwards, the spin and bucket. He's a machine, this kid. The other part, too, and you can just feel it and see it, they're playing with joy. And right. that joy had been a missing part of the equation for a portion of this season, certainly down the stretch for Duke. A lot of pressure, a lot of expectations. Roach, they get free. Corner, short from Proctor. Edwards couldn't grab it, but he does knock it over to Friedel. Duke gets back, floor balance defensively. Four minutes gone by, he's second going, half. He's going one-on-one -on -one every time he gets it. Edwards. Edwards. But they're not running their stuff. No, no, they get away from it. And he can Green. step back and shoot it. Step back, Jay Nylon. It's a three. The little guys are tough, I think. He and Brown can do some damage. 58-34. They are just two of eight from downtown. Nice little roll. High low, Filipowski. Oh, right. to bring it down. And it cost him. JMU takes it away. Friedel on the move with Edwards. Trying to use that screen from Carey. Give it. Carey extra. Nice step step in defense. Roach. Pretty. And Carey had the mismatch. Had Proctor on him. Just take your time and back him down. You don't need to force things on the offensive end. Oh, that cut jammed it up on him right. too, right? Just wave him off. The lead is 24. Five minutes elapsed in this second half. Filipowski sets the screen, takes the defender with him. It's the smaller defender, Green. Mitchell, High lob it, and lay it in. Nice call, Bird. Highly synchronized. Uh, really well done. 13 points, 6 of 8 from the field. Filipowski has been a force. Edwards. Oh, nice spin for Fat Edwards getting to the cup. And Filipowski backing off, too, not wanting the foul. But he is a spinning machine. 13 points for Edwards. He leads JMU. They need some others to get involved here, and they need some stops. Roach, quick first step. Foul. Points in the paint have been even, but Duke is making shots because Jared McCain can't miss. He's got 25 points on 7 of 9 from three-point territory. And Young is really getting some good minutes, screening, rolling. Helping out the pen. Oh, he stepped on the backcourt, too. That was a physical trap right there, which we saw a lot of on Friday. McCain, short. And the rebound controlled by Green. James Madison is 2 of 8 from three-point territory. Back into the game, Julian Wooden. Here's Carey. Good footwork this kid has. Over Young. It doesn't go, but he is going to the free-throw line. So that's the third foul on Ryan Young. And Jalen Carey, who missed a pair in the first half, will get two here. You know, Mark Bynes did a guy at Georgia Ooh. Southern had a great run. Contact Tur lens. Oh. oh, that was very efficient for yeah. Ryan Quick Young. hands. He was a great player in high school. I was reading his bio, Mike Byington. State player of the year. At one time, who's going to be in insurance, by the way, as you know, chatting with him yesterday. And uh, Pete Gillen said, why don't you come help us out a little bit? And that's how he started. It's incredible. All of a sudden, he said, he thought he would go become a teacher, get a doctor. And uh, what a keeper. What a job he's done in this program. Work with Bobby Crimmins. Yeah. I was to say he was the interpreter for Bobby Crimmins. <laughs> <laughs> he was originally from Salem, Virginia. State title at Salem for the Salem Spartans. And that deep connection with Bobby Kremens. Bobby's nephew is one of the assistants under Mark Byington on this staff for JMU. What a season they put together, but it's just not working so far tonight. Duke up big, 60-38. to 38. Byington played at UNC Wilmington seven seasons as the head coach at Georgia Southern. He was a high school coach prior to that, so cut his teeth. 
getting this opportunity. Young using the body. Baby hook. No. Rebounded by Wooden. And Raph, that might have been the first under out of bounds that Duke didn't score. And what a great look, right? Fat Edwards, he was a chubby child. That's how he got the nickname. And now a foul is called on the Terrence Edwards with that footwork. A little out of sorts from the beginning with that second foul. And that is the tenth turnover for JMU. Sometimes you can be so hyped up and ramped up to play that it can, it can work against you. And uh, certainly we know this JMU team is looking forward to playing Duke, but flat. Guys, they're 11th in the country in scoring 84 points per game. Scoring has not been an issue for them throughout the season. They are at 38. We are under 13 minutes to go, second half. Nice rotation, gets this opportunity at the rim, and Carey gets tagged with it. Well, right there, JMU, they all stayed home with shooters, and rightfully so, the way Duke's been shooting. So, Filipowski had isolation from the three-point line, took about three, four, five dribbles, great patience and footwork. Carey just a little overzealous there, getting called for that foul. How about the guards not stunting at all? You got to dig down and help the big guy. I mean, they're they're in trauma right now. I mean, after all these threes that were made, they're staying home and staying attached. So those driving lanes will be there for Filipowski and for guys off the bounce from the corner. And, and you had mentioned getting hyped up. Do you remember being that way prior to like NCAA games? I mean, we are, but of course we don't contribute much. No, one thing I'll say that, that Coach K did when we played was that you, you tried to keep it as normal as possible, you know? The way we played in the tournament was no different than how we played in the exhibition game. There was a certain standard, obviously, but we tried to keep it, you know, the same level, keep it as normal as possible. And there weren't as many distractions back then as there are now so with Mike's, social media. So Mike's terrible jokes were both... <laughs> Where the, you know, the tournament I mean, of regular season. I mean, he had some pretty good jokes yesterday. I mean, I love the banter back and forth between the two of you. He, we, I see the humorous side of Coach K, which I didn't see much of he, he hides back it in very early well. nines. Yes. We should mention, you called Coach K yesterday after the Duke win. You put Raph on the phone. And then it was like amateur night at the Chuckle Hut. The two of them were going back and forth. Yeah, it was, it was fun. I, I actually think Coach got the, the, the best of you. I, the I would agree. I think he got the better of you. I, I think I helped him become a better coach by continually losing to him. He's an army. <laughs> I, thought you were say, I, I helped him get a better sense of humor, which might be the case as well. Another free throw here for Julian Wooden. And the free throw numbers are 13 of 21. They've attempted double the amount of Duke, but it's not necessarily showing up on the scoreboard. Now, the more you watch this Duke team with the three perimeter guys, they are tough guards for a small forward, no matter who they set up with. Filipowski, kick, Roach, looking for the repost, carry using his body, and a foul is called. The officials were letting them play a little bit, and then they saw enough of Jalen Carey. That's number three. I think Filipowski's got to work a little bit harder on spinning and trapping his guy when they front him. And the ball, if they went to the top and he's in the lane, they could dump it down. They give up on that little post up quickly. Winner advances to Dallas in the South region to play the survivor of the Houston, Texas A&M game. The jumper goes, and it's Proctor who has caught fire. The flat no, rebounded by Proctor. Duke what? looking for more. What's the open floor look? McCain is a machine. So good. Another tray. Boy, they are on top of their game. You can see the confidence too. The exuding. Duke had 64 points total in the win over Vermont. They've got 66 tonight. And they have held James Madison to 41 after the last bucket by Green. Well, at halftime, John Shire was worried about being up big and getting complacent, but they have come out just as sharp here on the offensive end as they were in the first half. Duke lost in the second round last year to fourth seed at Tennessee. McCain doing it outside, doing it inside, doing it all. When you can shoot it, you can own your guy. Nice dribble drive by number zero. 30 points for the skilled freshman Jared McCain. Green, straightaway three, rebound, grabbed by Carey. Powers in, but can't get that to go. Filipowski's got to get that rebound. Waiting 
And they will take on the winner of that one in Los Angeles. Jared McCain, eight made three-pointers today. That's a Duke record in a tournament game passing Quinn Cook from 10 years ago. Open look for Edwards. It's off the rim, rebounded by Friedel. Off the double, ball movement. Edwards is fouled by Filipowski. It's number four on the Duke big. Tried to move the feet. CBS Wednesday Survivor is back. It's a supersized season. The most surprising, unexpected, unorthodox cast yet. Don't miss a new Survivor Wednesday 8, 7 Central. All new, all spring. CBS streaming on Paramount+. Plus. Now here's the small lineup you would talk to at halftime about. And without Filipowski now, automatic switching at all spots. And it might be a better defensive team with Filipowski out of the game with this Except small here. lineup. Except, Except here. Yeah, that's that's the problem. Quick move there by Bickerstaff getting to the interior. Nice read, just very made moves. Invisible. Nine points for the grad transfer TJ Bickerstaff, and it's 68 43. Shooting is picked up for JMU. Duke shooting has continued from the first half into the second Watch half. It. Proctor, a rainbow three! And Raph, they just keep getting wide open threes here. Well, they're, they're more worried about the roll guy and not staying at home on the corner. They get the answer as Julian Wooden sticks it from long range. Almost had to switch that, even though it's big on little. Well, well right there was a short roll. Sean Stewart caught the ball at the top of the key. You don't rotate to him and leave a shooter in the corner wide open. Duke is 12 of 24 from three-point territory. They lead it 71 to 46 over the 12 seed in the South, James Madison. Same play. Well, they trap it this time. Proctor, swing, Roach. Wow. Downtown Duke hit. Shooting practice. Absolutely decimating the defense with ball movement, unselfish play, and the uncanny ability to get a little nylon. Roach loves this time of year. Step it up as Duke is as well. Unselfish play. You got the green light. You can't miss. Shot chart looks about as ideal as you could possibly imagine for McCain, the freshman. And of course, we always talk about his transition opportunity. Nice slip here, Bickerstaff. But he is really, they run their offense great to get him looks. A little fumbleitis. Fat Edwards loses the ball. Turnover James Madison, 9.07 to go. And if you're Duke, you just continue with that high screen and roll. They're pretty much getting whatever they want offensively. That's been the theme here tonight. Stewart sets the screen for Proctor, who has also shot it well. Proctor's got 16 points, 6 of 13 from the field. They stayed at home on the corner. Pretty good job. Up at the fade away. Another connection from Proctor. And Raph, he can do that. I, I feel like this season he's settled a lot for three-point shots, but he can make plays off the bounce as he did there. Good hustle play. Michael Green third, the miss. Good feed. But Good. then the giveaway. Blake slowly oh. went down really hard. Wow. Trying to jam it. It's a, a, no, no, I don't, I, I don't think that was a foul. I think it was actually. They signaled already, though. They did. Yeah. I just thought it was because yeah. it was such a hard foul. They're, they're, they're going to go take it. a look. But they, now they're going to determine which it was, one or two. John Shire comes over to make sure that Jalen Blake's Ooh, yeah. the Blair Academy product. Wow. Who just landed. So awkwardly. We'll see the signal behind. Let's see if the. Uh, the yeah, well, there they he, go. See the, the hands went up? Well, it looked like, I mean. I'm with you. I, I think the fall looked worse than the actual foul. And if anything, Blake's extended out with his left arm right there. But I think it was a good foul. I don't uh, think I'm it was with a you. flagrant. But, but I, I just meant the signal I, right. I noticed right away. I think the concern was for the right arm yeah. getting caught underneath as he spilled out on the floor. He's a little shaken, though. I think so. I'd be out eight yeah. weeks if I felt like that. Right. I felt like that most mornings. Jose Fonseca, the athletic trainer, is in. So now Gene Steratore is going to join us. Gene, you've watched now a few different replays. Uh, Noah Friedel was... The player that got in there there was also a fend-off as well just take us through what you saw yeah, i agree with you Ian. And, and you know it's unique and, and unusual now where we see that kind of intentional or flagrant one kind of signal right on in real time as well 
to me, uh, you know what, guys? I, I see Fredell going up to play the basketball. I know there's contact. I know the Courtney Green is going to come over. One. We're going to shoot two shots, and then it'll be Duke's ball on the baseline. So it is going to be a flagrant one, Gene, Bill, Grant. Two shots in the ball. Yep. On the baseline. I see flag. I, you know, I see them call the flagrant run, fellas. But quite honestly, I see a good hard play to the hoop, to the ball. As you said, the person going to the rack is fending off a little bit. I don't know where the vulnerability is or level of severity that would rise to a flagrant. That looks like two guys going hard to the rack, and you know, unfortunately, there's a big fall. Sometimes that triggers the officials. I still think you need to because referee the play as it's presented to you. Number three will be shooting. Correct. Because he is injured, anybody can shoot. Uh, they picked Roche. But, Gene, this is why you retired. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I, I, I'm with you. I mean, the way things were, they aren't anymore. I mean, even, as Bird mentioned, the sound or the fall sometimes enters yeah. into the decision. You know, something else that just happened, first time that I've ever seen this, you were the translator for somebody else. <laughs> Courtney Green came over, told us, and then you translated for the American public. You made a living translating for me. <laughs> exactly. I've always been the RAF translator. 7846. We hope that Jalen Blakes is okay. They sent him directly to the locker room. But that high level, you are vulnerable, I understand. With no intent in my mind, and really no head or shoulder. I, I don't. I agree. I don't think it was a flagrant. I think you you call that because of the fall. Yes. And how Blake's landed right floor. His body bounced, and there was a hush over the crowd. Roach gets all the way, but he's not going to get the bucket. Foul was called in the paint on his drive against Green. And, Bird, didn't we have one of those with Charles Barkley with the Nets where he landed on the floor? They had to get the carpenter when he hit the floor. But uh, same thing, the automatic reaction is... The, the, did, they the still play, did they still play the game after he fell? Uh, he <laughs> they <laughs> he took the rest of the night off. Bring, bring some more floor out there? <laughs> Foul was called on Friedel. Roach is at the line, 8-14 to play. It's all Duke. And once again, Roach able to get to the rim there on those on that dribble penetration because of the shooting and the fear of leaving those shooters wide open. Those lanes are going to be there for Duke over and over again. How good are these numbers? If Roach makes this free throw, which he does, they have topped their season average, which is 79.4 per game, and they've done it with over eight minutes to play here in the second round of the NCAA tournament. A game like this reconnects staff and team. Mm. Not that there's a distancing. I'm not alluding to that, but it just... You're talking about us? Uh, well, this, we, could <laughs> use, we could use a little more time together. He wasn't specific, Grant. <laughs> little by, try, but it doesn't go for Green, and that's the kind of day it's been for JMU. Mitchell backs it out for Roach. TJ Power in the game. Shrewsbury, Massachusetts native out of Worcester Academy for Duke. Did you notice Stewart running for Shooting Bird? He can get up and down the floor, and he didn't give it to him. Mitchell tried to get the angle on Wooden. Off the mark. Friedel will pull up. And wow. a net from long range. Oh my goodness, can he drill that shot? That was from South Dakota. Unerring. That was a ball. Reconnecting, I think. And look at that. An elite company there with two Kyrie, yeah. first number one picks. First round number one picks. That's right. Zion Williamson and Kyrie Irving, both overall number one picks. And he's sandwiched in between them. And he's currently on the bench. Ball on the floor. Proctor makes his move. Layup, no. Rebound. Nice rebound. It's controlled by Stewart. He's fouled. And Proctor a little slow getting up. Stewart will head to the free throw line. We send it over to Tracy. Well, I and you see Jalen Blakes on the sideline right now. He was evaluated for a concussion in the locker room. He was cleared. They do not expect him to return, though, especially with the score the way it is. It is not worth putting him out there. Yep, understood. But Blakes was interacting with his teammates. His parents actually went to the locker room to check on him. Duke made sure that they had a clear path and then both his parents and he came walking out. So those are Jalen Blake's parents sitting just behind him. Stewart extends the lead. 
Yeah, these are good minutes for a guy like Stewart. Power on the floor. A terrific shooter. Just judging him from practice. Show it. And Woody connects. He's been quiet. Good player, though. Yeah, he is. 12 points against Wisconsin. 23 earlier in the year against ODU. 81-51, Duke, six and a half to go in regulation. Mitchell, the hard drive, and it's blocked by Friedel. He was the second man through, and the ball is out of bounds off of Wooden. Watch whip-around coverage of all men's games on your computer, phone, tablet, streaming device with Fast Break, presented by Nissan and the March Madness Live app. Download it now. And Mark Bynes was talking about Friedel. He does so many nice things, doesn't give up on a play. He's a passer, deep shooter. He's not just a shooter, though. No. <laughs> he's, he's, he's a competitor, too. Young just tossed it to Friedel. Fifth turnover for Duke. Friedel around power, and it's locked. Try the Smitty move. Power wins. <laughs> yeah. The Smitty move did not work on that particular play. His moves worked pretty good in his career. Oh, Smitty? Smitty? Oh, wow. Got a ring? Uh, that's pretty good. When you have a move named after you, that means you've achieved something. The Smitty. The Smitty. The God Sham God. Lob it up. Oh, it down. It oh, is Stewart. Having a ball. 83-51. Duke 20th assist of the night for the Blue Devils. Kick. Horton missed it. And off the rebound action, a foul is called. I believe. How about this? Yeah, I mean, it's all day getting into the paint. Great read and awareness right there. Stewart has a lot of bounce. Throw it up high and let him finish. But I've been surprised, almost shocked, at how easily Duke has been able to beat the defender off the bounce and get into the paint and yeah, make plays. We've been so impressed with James Madison's defense. No. And they're getting ready for their games. Yeah, and that's going to count for T.J. Pickerstaff, goaltending called. So for Mark Byington, this team was saying all the right things, doing all the right things, and then sometimes it's just not your night. You could feel it early. Duke just had a presence about them, and all the things that were working against Wisconsin, the intensity and the physicality never became part of what we've seen today here for James Madison. Well, they got home late the other night, told them to go to bed, put their phones aside and get ready. Unfortunately, they got Duke bouncing back, finding themselves and their legs. Off the miss by power, reload here for Duke. We are under five minutes to go. Their hotel was in Times Square, by the way. It took them like an hour and a half to get to the <laughs> shoot around yesterday. That's right. Are you making excuses? No, 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 no. Yeah, just the way Duke played, nothing would have mattered. Jeremy Roach hits the floater. No, Graf is now a travel agent, apparently. <laughs> Part of your responsibility. <laughs> You're so multidimensional. He really is. 85-53, Duke. Bat Edwards, kick to the corner. Horton can't hit the three. Rebound nearly went down for Wood. Well kept alive, and then that won't go for Bickerstaff. I like where they're competing, though. He's got some heavy green gear. Looking at his knee as well. Yeah, a batter year for James Madison at 32 and 3. They have not lost since January 27. Nearly two months. It's incredible. Mm. Mitchell feed the jumper. You can shoot it. You what called you, it. What are you going to do with all that power? A three. 14 of 27 from downtown for Duke. It's 88-53 and another takeaway. And a run out. Give it up. He's going to love it. <laughs> Slam it down. Hammer jam. Well, this game summary, Duke lights out 55%, 14 of 27 from three-point territory. McCain leading the way with 30 points. Neil Begovich is in for Duke. It's rebound. So is Spencer Hubbard. And we have 3.07 to go until the Blue Devils will officially advance to the Sweet 16. 
Stewart. Ball got poked away. Break opportunity. The run by Fat Edwards, and he goes down. Foul is called. And underneath, it was Hubbard. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and the race between China and the United States to the bottom of the sea, followed by new episodes of the hit series Tracker and CSI Vegas, plus the equalizer. That's tonight, CBS Sunday. And Bert Edwards has 13 points in a limited time. Of, you know, just a struggle. I think that foul, that second foul, set the tone for them. It, it took him out of his rhythm, and you're right. It, it, it took the team out yeah. of their rhythm. They lost their confidence. They couldn't keep up with the scoring of, of Duke. And you dig a hole against a team like this that's hot and talented like the Blue Devils is too much. He does have another year of eligibility. Obviously, we have no idea what the plans might be. Edwards has dreams of going beyond college basketball, of course, has had a terrific season, has improved every year. But this team and this run will end tonight. Shooter that can drive. Power missed it inside. Begovich out of bounds. Stanford kid. Not a bad deal. Stanford to Duke. I think he's going to be okay. I had that ability, I thought, uh, in the younger days. The problem was nobody else thought that. <laughs> <laughs> you just had self-confidence. Uh, he felt bad about Jared Harris. I'm talking about him. Played for a nice little back screen to get. Woody for the gets box. inside for two. So James Madison 0-3 all-time in the second round. Losses to Notre Dame in 81 and then back-to-back -back against North Carolina in 82 and 83. They're going to move to 0-4 all-time and still have not experienced a Sweet 16. Final two minutes. Nice Young pass. Pass. Inside. Begovich had it blocked. Edwards the other way for JMU. A nice look by Young. He's going. Fat Edwards lost it. And then power hits the deck. Foul call. Madison ranked in the top 25 for 12 weeks this season. Major breakthrough for this program. The miss by power, the follow by Young. Duke has put on a clinic tonight in Brooklyn. Almost flawless, Bird. Both ends of the floor. Great preparation. Very great belief in the scouting report, too. A miss by Friedel, a minute 17 to go. And, and you wonder if you wonder the guys that were on the team last year, Mark Mitchell, Tyrese Proctor, Filipowski, they lost to Tennessee, a physical team, they played great defense, and they had their guys ready along with Shire and his staff. Now they want this guy to shoot. It is Hubbard. Uh, yeah. Driving, floating, off the rim. Walk on had a chance at it. Fat Edwards way off. Spencer the board. 45 seconds to go. So in the battle of Duke versus the Dukes, it is the Blue Devils that will take the victory. Shire just gave some instructions. 10 on the timer. Screen. Hubbard. Cross. He's dancing. <laughs> Needs help. And a foul called. And right there, Wooden says, uh-uh. I'm fouling Not on my, <laughs> out of my watch. Not on my parade. Uh, I started to mention preparation before. All these assistants do such a good job. Jai Lugas had this scout yesterday, as you know. And uh, they were ready to go. So Spencer Hubbard. Out of Los Angeles, trying to get on the board here. And I know his parents, his mother, Beth Hubbard, very well, will be at home watching, hoping he gets his point here in the tournament. But everything has gone Duke's way. And this is a confidence booster. This is a momentum builder right here for this unit going into this next round, the Sweet 16. Uh, maybe some more checks will go their way. A little fundraising on it, too. There it is for Hubbard. Harvard Westlake, we mentioned yesterday. Excellent prep for Hol college. Holman Smith is now in the game for James Madison. He'll get a touch. Final seconds. Deep one. Wooden. It's off. It's out of bounds. 
And 7.4 on the clock. He's got to feel good and relieved, I think, John. Get them back to their mojo. And his first trip as a head coach to a Sweet 16. Shane Fedden is in. Step forward, right? Step forward, yeah. progress. And also Jarrell Pope on the floor. Final seconds. Hubbard will dribble it out. The Sweet 16 feels so good for the Duke Blue Devils. Dominant effort. They knock off the 12th seed in the South. James Madison, 93 to 55. And Duke advances.